Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to have your characters a little more animated and during battle sequences like I've been showing you. And I'm going to show you quick formulas that I use for certain attacks. I'm going to show you um, a forum where you can see people discussing different formulas that you can use for yourself by just copy pasting. I will provide a link to Yanfly's plugins, that way you can get those if you don't have them already. And uh, yeah, it's pretty ba gonna be a pretty quick basic tutorial just to kind of give you a beginning idea how to do this. I can't explain too in depth because a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, cause and effect and just trying new things out. But what's worked for me so far, I will show you real quick. First thing you need to do is you need to go up to the plugins and you need to add Yanfly's plugins. So once you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do plugins, but I guess I'll show you real quick. Got a lot of windows up. I'm really sorry about that. Um, you have to go to the JS folder, and in the JS folder, you got to go to the plugins, and that's where you're going to drop all your JS files that I'm going to provide links to. Okay, so once you do that, go ahead and go to your skills. All right, I have a few different things here. Okay, so for basic attack. Attack number one, this is pretty much going to be used for your character's default attacks and your enemy's default attacks. It's going to be in slot one skill. It says attack. Um, over here in the notes is where you're going to put all your information basically. This right here, I copied from the forum and I edited, I did some edits to it a little bit. Um, what this really does is it has it to where like if your character is a long range attacker, this kind of is the exception and in that exception I have it where your user jumps a hundred which is a hundred X towards the direct towards the enemies and 40 frames so after that the target will move there away from movement I kinda explain that um, it's a lot of formula to cover but you're gonna have to really learn a lot of it for yourself but I will provide this specific formula that I created where the the character jumps at the enemy and I'll show you how it looks if you like it you can always edit it yourself but <laughs> it's pretty basic okay anyways for what I'm gonna show you that's a whole action this is the formula I'm gonna explain real quick what each thing does the whole action is basically affects all the enemies and you want if you want if you have whole action you have to have all enemies selected. If you have all enemies in target action, it gets all glitched up. So make sure if you do an all enemy attack, you have whole action instead of target action. Under whole action, I have her chant, motion chant, and in the motion you'll put motion chant, motion evade, motion attack, motion swing. Um, I'll provide a link to the videos obviously so you can kind of see how to do that for yourself. But anyways, camera focus to the user, zoom percentage, cast animation, this is separate from the actual animation we're using. Um, camera focus all opponents, zoom, wait for zoom, action, animation, that's the skill animation. So action animation is this animation, neutral all th three, Mika, I gave it a weird name, but that'll display that animation and I have it as all opponents to the target and while she's doing that she'll be swinging and then waiting for motion and the action effect all opponents animation wait action effect all opponents every time it's an action effect it does that damage damage that many times so this is the formula I have and it'll do it three times basically and you can trigger it to go off at certain times during your skill and then death break which allows the enemy to die um, that ends that whole action. That's called Media Parade. I'll kind of show you how that works. For a single attack skill, we got Cat Scratch Fever here. And this is a target action. So you would do target action, motion evade user, jump user, move to target, front 30. For this, move user, user would go to target, which is the target you selected, front. There's different sections of the opponent. There's the front, the back, um, the base, the head, the front head, back head, 
all kinds of things. There's a diagram in the video that Yanfly has. Um, they'll jump to the front, and then 30 is the frame, so 30 frames. And you would wait, motion swing, so she would swing. You know, and actually, that should be motion attack. Um, perform an action, which doesn't necessarily need to be there, but it's there. Um, action animation shows the animation, action effect target, move the user to the back, 15 frames. So she'll jump in the front, and then she'll jump to the back. Wait for movement, face user backward. That means she'll look oh, toward the party. Wait, motion swing, which has got to be an uh, attack again. That will show her with the sword. Swing just kind of shows him swinging without a weapon. Um, and the user represents the character that's using the skill. And a wait is kind of just a uh, like a pause where it doesn't flood everything together and look weird. Um, the action effect, like I said, is the damage, death break, face user forward, this would face her towards the other direction of the party, jump, so it'll throw her back to her starting position at return, and then escape, wait for tar movement and target action. I know it sounds, this all sounds really weird, and to me this took forever to learn. But once you start to like figure out all the stuff, it's very, very easy to do. Um, but I'll show you those two actions. So I'm going to show you Cat Scratch Fever. And then I'm going to show you Meteor Parade. Real quick to give you an idea what those look like. And uh, we're going to put her at level 15. And Miko at level 50. Okay, so that's kind of what those look like. Um, another one I'll show you real quick. Is going to be Leo, which is a summon. And in this one, I'm, you have the... It's another whole action. All enemies. <laughs> Sorry. Um, opacity not focus is pretty much gets the rest of the party out of focus. So this will make everyone disappear, basically. And then I'll have the move user is kind of just used to kind of make it look like the animation will go towards the center. I'm going to put that at 530 actually. Um, hide battle hub, HUD, which will just get rid of the battle HUD. Zoom, wait, cast animation. This is what I use to make it look like Leo is appearing, but in actuality it's casting it on the user. But the user's um, transparent, so it'll just show up like it's on the middle of the battlefield. After that shows, it focuses on the op opponents. I'm only going to do 110, so it's not too close. I'll do 100 for that, and then I'll have it zoom in a bit. Okay, so action animation, all opponents. Hits all opponents, wait. All opponents hit. This is, a, this is the um, action animation to all of them, and the effect I do it twice, so it's a double slash attack. And here I have it wait after the first hit, 21. That way it looks like they're, you know, each time he slashes, it does the damage. Then the death break, zoom, battle HUD, everyone comes back into focus. So let's look at that real quick. OK, 
Okay, so that was kind of like a quick little summon. Alright, so that's... I mean, I don't really know how else to explain um, all the stuff that Yanfly doesn't already cover in his videos. That just kind of shows you a hands-on of how it works within the notes. How each thing works. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys a link to the forum that I went to to get help from. You can copy-paste some of their actions into your skill log. Um, all this stuff takes place in skills. You can't do it in weapons and items. I tried doing that at first and it doesn't work. You make a skill, and like I said, if you want the attack to do it in the default attack number one slot, that's where you would put it, and it would also apply to enemies that are doing attack. So it kind of works both ways. You can I'll paste this formula right here into the description, and when you guys try this out, copy this code, paste it into your first skill slot after you have all the plugins and stuff installed and then you'll you should have that effect um, if you have any questions go ahead and ask I'll do the best I can but like I said I just started learning this about a week ago I'm gonna give you guys the links to the plugins the forum and to the um, um, the other video that Yanfly does to kind of explain it a little bit more maybe something that I didn't cover and hopefully you guys can catch on to this it's it's not too complex but like I said it took me a little while to figure out so that's it I uh, will talk to you guys later